Firstly, we start by removing the foreshank from the shoulder, going in between the humerus and radius, as shown on the video. We then start to debone the shoulder, starting from the sternum and following the ribs down. Sharpen your knife accordingly to the activity. We finally get to the tricky part of the deboning. You need to remove the cervical and thoracic section of the vertebrae, but take your time with this section as you could slash the eye muscle if not careful. You then remove the eye muscle by following the seam down towards the scapular bone, follow across the scapula and remove the boneless joint accordingly. Once this is removed, we will start to expose the scapular bone. Go either side of the bone, being careful not to leave any bone sheet on the meat and remove the scapula accordingly. Once the scapula has been removed, we start from the ball joint and follow the humerus down so we can expose the humerus. As you can see on the video, we are working around the bone and using a lever technique to ensure all bone is removed without any meat. There is a big pocket of fat located on the end of the shoulder where there's numerous of glands that need to be removed. Finally, the long strip of fat that is on the end of the shoulder needs to be removed. Score accordingly, and then roll to your liking, making sure all knots are in a straight line, We need a one kilo joint, so cut accordingly. And there we are, a rolled shoulder. We then finish with some secondary butchery skills and retail portioning by cutting three spare rib chops and cubed pork, as shown on the video.